Wonder Woman. So Wonder Woman is directed by Patty Jenkins and is written by Alan Heinberg and stars Gal Gadot and Chris Pine. This is a movie I have been looking forward to. Now apparently the DC Cinematic Universe is not doing very well and so a lot is riding on Wonder Woman. Personally, I'm a pretty big fan of the DC Cinematic Universe. In fact, I'm a bigger fan of the DC Cinematic Universe than I am the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Man of Steel was great when I first saw it and I, agreeable, it did get worse every time I saw it. And then Suicide Squad was bleh, about the same. And honestly, I'm part of the minority when it comes to Batman v Superman. I loved Batman v Superman. Maybe it's just because of that. Don't know. But I guess we'll find out when we get all two and a half hours worth of Wonder Woman. Let's start with the characters, as usual. Gal Gadot plays Wonder Woman. Incredible. Incredible is all I have to say. Her character is incredible. From the naiveness that she starts as to the familiar wisdom that we got to experience just a little bit in last year's Batman v Superman, Wonder Woman is from a remote island called Themyscira that is hidden by a portal of fog. Steve Trevor's plane crash lands through the portal and brings with him World War I. Wonder Woman is convinced that the god of war Ares has returned, whether that be figurative or a physical manifestation of a powerful godlike being. We don't know. So Wonder Woman must go and find Ares and destroy him and end all war. As naive as it sounds, needless to say, we are behind her all the way. From naive to familiar wisdom. Steve Trevor goes with her just to be a good person. I mean, that's the best reason that you could possibly have when you're dealing with someone who may have some spice in her bloodline from Zeus. I love her character development. It's so awesome, particularly with her sidekick. He's amazing. I did not expect anything from this guy. I expected him to, to be just as disposable as any other supportive character in a superhero movie. And he wasn't. He actually did stuff. He actually was important. He, he was awesome. The villain in the movie is blah. It really is. Really blah. I mean, what's up with the breaking the pills thing and the chemicals coming up and him getting high? I, they never explain what the, what the crap that is. Is that Bane's venom? I, I mean, that would be cool if, if they told us that, but they don't tell us that. So, whatever, I guess. The acting. Gal Gadot was the perfect casting. It's Heath Ledger all over again. Okay? Bless Heath Ledger's soul and rest in peace. I loved his Joker performance. It is legendary. But the great thing about Gal Gadot is that, number one, she plays a protagonist. That's amazing. And she's still with us. We have a Wonder Woman among us, folks. Chris Pine as Steve Trevor. His best performance. Hands down. So good. So fluid. It's just the relationship between... Him and Wonder Woman is just incredible. Everyone else was fine. They were background noise, and that's the way I want it to be. I want Gal Gadot and Chris Pine to stand at the forefront, particularly when they do such a good job. The dialogue in the movie isn't really good, and then sometimes it's amazing. There are some great lines in this movie. For instance, the chieftain, who is part of the supportive group for Wonder Woman and Steve Trevor, he has a great line around a campfire. I, I just don't remember it very well, so I'm not going to say it. I don't want to ruin it. I just want you guys to go and see the movie and, and listen for yourself. The dialogue between Wonder Woman and Steve Trevor is excellent. It's perfect. But sometimes when Wonder Woman is just talking to other people or if she's given a monologue, it's just kind of like, it's not just about being good. It's about believing. What do, what do I do with that? The story. It's cliche. I mean, it's cliche. I mean, if there is a weakness with this movie, it, it is that the story is incredibly cliche. There's also sprinkled throughout a lot of circumstantial bullcrap. And in case you don't know what that is, circumstantial bullcrap is when people do illogical things just to drive the plot. Or things just happen because as a plot driver. It's not that bad. I mean, I've seen 
plenty of terrible movies with circumstantial bullcrap, and this is by no means a terrible movie. Uh, but it does have it here and there, and I just, uh, I mean, it just distracts me. Predictability. Cliche story, <laughs> and incredibly predictable. It, it is from beginning to end. The only thing that surprised me was that I cried during the action sequences. <sighs> I mean, I saw when she breaks the rifle off of her back in the trailer, so why in the world was I so surprised when I saw it again in the movie? Because we have great characters. I mean, with every punch, every kick, every lasso whip, every slice with a sword, every block, I felt it. I was like, she is with each hit destroying evil. I mean, it felt powerful. And the combination of the music, I mean, that awesome theme. Oh, gosh. I just wanted more of that. I mean, it happens a couple times throughout the movie, and I, I really appreciate that. I mean, tears, straight up. But I could use more morale. I have not had so much thought-provoking, lesson-learning, life-bending moments since The Dark Knight. I mean, I mean, wow. I mean, I am behind Wonder Woman all the way. What makes her character so good and what makes Steve Trevor's character so good is that they are genuinely good people. And arguably some of the best people I've seen on film today. I mean, they're just great examples. And it's not just them. Patty Jenkins, the cast and crew, they all work together to create something beautiful. There's this one scene where the camera focuses on a character's face and it's really quiet and it's, it's rather prolonged, but it just gives you a moment to imagine what that person is thinking right now. Now, after the movie, you know, my sister-in-law and her friend came to the theater with me, and I asked them, you know, what were you guys thinking? Like, what was that person thinking in that moment? And we, all three, had the exact same idea. It was, it's incredible. That's what great films do, okay? It doesn't have to use words in order to express a message. I mean, that's magical, you know? It's like the gift of tongues through this piece of motion art. Guys, this, this movie was incredible. It really was. I don't have a choice. This movie absolutely deserves its position. And that is at number 16 on the list. So Wonder Woman, absolutely go see this movie. Whether you are a superhero fan or an everything else fan, just go see the daggum movie. And tell me what you thought about it below, because I absolutely care to know. And if you want to subscribe, just hit the daggum subscribe button, and I will see you next time on Movie Slayer. Boom. Boom.